Season 1 is here, and with that means weapon balancing and new weapons to use and to unlock, and that means new loadouts. In this video, we are going to be covering 6 weapons that you should be using in multiplayer and in Warzone here in Season 1. Officially the new year, I'm back from my trip. Hope you guys had a good December. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos while it's gone. But we're back. We're making more videos. I'm excited to be back. Hope you guys are excited to have me. And we're going to get right into this. So we have six weapons here, and there's definitely going to be some unsuspecting ones here. First up on the list, we have the Holger 556 Assault Rifle. Now, this was nerfed, but it is still a very viable AR to use. So on this, I have, for the barrel, the Cronus 6 Match. This will give you some more damage range, some bullet velocity, gun kick control, and uh, horizontal re and vertical recoil control as well. Overall, just a very good barrel to have. It will slow down your sprint to fire speed and your ADS speed a little bit. Just very slightly, not too bad. It should make a huge difference. Next up, we have the high grain rounds and the ammunition. And now this one, this can be changed out depending on if you can handle the recoil control or not. Uh, you can definitely change these high grain rounds out for either a muzzle or an underbarrel of some sort to help with the recoil. Uh, the high grain rounds are going to give you more damage and more bullet velocity. That way uh, you, you kill faster, but there is going to be a little bit more recoil with that as well. Uh, about about a 7% horizontal and 6.9 nice in vertical. Now, the barrel will counteract that. Those are about the same stats, but like I said, this will have a little bit of recoil for you. For the magazine, we're using the 40 round mag. This one can be switched out. You don't have to use this. You can also put on a, a laser or you know a rear grip. It also isn't necessary. It does help though to kill multiple people within one mag. For the stock, we're gonna be using the RB Addle Assault Stock. This again is gonna help tremendously with the recoil. 12% horizontal, 12% vertical, overall 9% gun kick. Very good stock. And the only downside is it is going to slow down the ADS a little bit. For the sight, I have the slate reflector on. Now, if you do like the iron sights, go ahead and just take it off, add another attachment on, add a suppressor, you know, whatever you like. I personally don't like the ADS on, or the uh, iron sights on this weapon. I struggle with it. Uh, I don't know what it is about it, but uh, I, I'd rather have a sight on. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there. Slate reflector is just my personal favorite. As you can see, this gun, it does kick does have some kick you got it's just vertical though so let's go ahead and here we'll just go ahead and there's that so yeah there's just some vertical kick goes up to the right a little bit but it is pretty pretty easy to combat here okay i didn't want the i didn't want the enemies moving hey still out there yeah long range it is a little challenging but close and medium it dominates you can even two shot headshot with this the high grain rounds it allows you even medium range to two shot headshot. If you get a couple headshots on, your enemy's gonna go down, no problem. Next up in the assault rifle category is one of my favorites, actually, that was uh, that I got to use while doing the camo challenges. It is the FR556 or the FAMAS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first up, we got the long bore 600 millimeter barrel. The first one here you get. Uh, this is gonna give you damage range, bullet velocity, all that good stuff for your range. Um, does affect the hip fire spread and the tactical sand spread but you're not going to be doing that with this weapon and it lowers the uh, ads speed a little bit but overall this is going to be a really good barrel for you to help get those one burst kills that everybody wants next we're going to put on the 45 round mag you can also run the 60 round mag if you want but that is going to cause you to be a little bit slower on the mobility and the handling side uh both are going to affect that but the 60 round of course just affects it a little more next up for the grip we're going to be running the rmt grip this is going to counteract that slowness and increase your ADS speed and your sprint fire speed. It does add some kick, but this is a burst weapon. Kick doesn't really matter all that much. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna get much anyway. But we also have an attachment for that, which is the FR Ton 618, the comb attachment. This is gonna counteract that kick you get from the rear grip there and allow you to be more accurate. Uh, decreasing the horizontal and vertical recoil. And then again, for the sight, you can just throw on whatever you want. Right now I have the Cronin Intless Sight. I'm just kind of testing it out here. This one also adds aiming stability and ADS speed, but it does give you a laser. So if you want to be off the radar, off everybody's uh, everybody's sights, go ahead and just put on the slate reflector. But this weapon, this weapon can one burst pretty easily. Mid range, it's one burst in. Short range, it's one burst in. 
And even long range is one bursting. It wasn't doing that whenever I was testing earlier, but... Okay, there, if you hit the legs, if you hit chest and up, it looks like you're one bursting from, from far range, which is kind of insane. Up close, mid range, no problem. Getting the one burst far range too. This is a very good weapon to use in multiplayer. The last one for the assault rifle slot is going to be the Ram 7. This was added with this season. Uh, you guys saw me use it in my last video here, going over the vortex modes. Uh, but this is the build I was rocking for it. Now, this has been the, the build that we have here in front of us. It has been labeled a no recoil build by some people. But it definitely has some recoil, but it's easily manageable recoil. So for the attachments, we have the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. Going to give you the damage rage that you need here for some, uh, for some quick kills. Again, in the negatives here, you got the hip fire spread, all that kind of stuff. You're not going to be doing that with this weapon, though. This is very much an ADS weapon. The assault rifle, you're not going to be hip firing all that much. Uh, for the muzzle, we have the Cassis Break, which is also going to help with the horizontal recoil. Alternately, you could also put on the Komodo Heavy, which actually, coming to look at it here, might be better. It really depends on the ADS speed. If you think it's too slow with the Komodo Heavy, then go ahead and put on the Cassius. But the the Komodo Heavy is helping with recoil control, vertical, and horizontal all together. So I might throw that on and test that out in the video here. And then the staple recoil control uh, underbarrel is the Bruin Heavy. That is going to help tremendously with all three sections of the recoil control. Also lowering the ADS spread, or the ADS speed, my apologies. Next up, we have the 60 round drum. This is going to slow you down tremendously, but this is a very fast shooting assault rifle, so I feel like the 60 round drum is pretty needed here. You can try the 40, 40 round, but if especially in Warzone, if you're going to use this in Warzone, use the 60 round. And last but not least, we have the HVS 3.4 pad for the stock gonna again help with recoil control and gun kick control slow down your ads slow down your spirit fire a little bit but this is very much a uh, a position yourself in front of the enemy and then stand there and mow them down kind of weapon so as you can see without pulling down here it does have some vertical recoil okay but that vertical recoil can easily be managed i forgot i had the plates on Now, if you have better aim than I do, which shouldn't be too hard, my aim is not that great. You should be able to take them out pretty easily there from that distance. Go ahead and get it back to multiplayer standards here. And you are killing very quickly with this thing. I'm almost pulling down too much. A very, very little pull down is needed for this. There we go. Next, we're going into the SMG category here. We have the WSP-9 which was by far my most favorite SMG to use while going for the camos. I love this thing. I love these slow shooting, high damage range uh, SMGs in Call of Duty. I'm not sure what it is about them. Uh, but for the build here, we have the long barrel, the WSP Reckless long barrel. Going to help with the, the damage, uh, bullet velocity, and the range. Uh, and it's going to lower your sprint to fire speed a little bit, but overall, it is, it is an SMG at the end of the day, so that sprint to fire speed is going to be very quick. Next up, we have the XRK Edge BW4 Hand Stop. This is going to help with some movement speed, crouch fire speed, ADS movement speed, ADS speed overall, and your sprint to fire speed. This is going to keep that thing quick, just in case for any close encounters. Uh, at the end of the day, this, this SMG is an SMG, right? But it is capable of taking some long-range fights. So for that, we're going to put the 40 round mag on. You could easily use either one of these depending on your play style, depending on what you want to use. Um, 30, 32 round mag is great. It still works fine. Gets you a little bit less uh, negatives there and the movement speed. 40 round mag is kind of that sweet spot, I feel like. And then the 50 round is if you, uh, you, know, you really don't want to reload and you're just going to kind of be bullet spraying around. That's going to be good for you there. Next up, we have the WSP Classic Factory Stock to help with the gun kick recoil. And uh, it's going to lower your ADS speed a little bit. Next up, we have the WSP Classic Factory Stock. The very last stock you get for this, it is going to help with gun kick control, horizontal recoil, and vertical recoil. It is going to lower your ADS speed a little bit, but like I said, this is going to be a very good for any long range encounter you're going to get in with this gun. And last, I have a slate reflector on. Again, you can use whatever sight you want. Or you can not even use a sight at all, and you can put on a suppressor with this if you want. Uh, you can put the Shadow Strike, which only takes you off the radar. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this last slot. 
I personally don't like the iron sights for this gun. They are very hard to control. So I prefer a slate reflector there. That way uh, I can I can at least see what I'm shooting at, you know? Uh, but yeah, this gun is kind of wonky, right? Just the, the gunfire and overall, it does have a little bit of kick. You know, it is kicking a little bit. That was me not doing anything right there. But as you can see, I mean, this thing, even at long range, is killing pretty quick. As I mentioned in the beginning, there is one gun that uh, you weren't going to be expecting, and that is actually the Vaznev 9K SMG from Monofer 2. Recently, they buffed this gun uh, and increased the damage. So Sledgehammer is tweaking the Monofer 2 weapons as well as the Monofer 3. So I'm interested to see what kind of guns from Monofer 2 are going to enter their way back into the meta here in the near future. Uh, but for this gun in particular, we have the SA Response 3 barrel, which is going to, again, help with the damage range. It's going to help. With, it's actually going to also help with kick control. Uh, so that is a very good barrel overall. It is going to affect the movement speed, mobility, and handling a little bit. Overall, though, it's going to help you more than it's going to hurt you. Next up, we have the Monolithic Suppressor to uh, help with some more recoil and get you off the radar. It is going to affect your ADS speed a little bit, uh, but not a whole lot overall. Then we have the high grade rounds. In the last game, you weren't able to use these, so this is going to affect the gun a lot compared to Monofer 2. It's going to make the gun feel completely different. We're going to be killing faster. It is going to have more quick control, but we do have attachments to help with that. I went ahead and put on the 45 round mag. This one is up to you guys. You can put on a sight if you want. You can put on a different stock if you want to do that instead of the 45 round mag. I found myself running out of ammo though a lot, so I went ahead and put on the 45 round mag. And last, we have the true tack grip that's going to help with the sprint fire and ADS speed to kind of counteract those damage range attachments that we have on this weapon. Last but not least, we actually have a pistol here that we're going to be using. This is going to be your best friend for a secondary. This is a great pistol you can use on pretty much any of your classes. So for the attachments, we're going to throw on the monolithic suppressor to get some extra recoil control and get off the radar. We're going to throw on the 40 round drum as well. Uh, you go through ammo very quickly with this weapon. So that is a must. Of course, you're going to have the conversion kit on. And then the granular grip to help with some recoil control. And then last but not least, the dynamic precision stock to it as well help with some recoil control. This gun does kick a little bit uh, with these attachments, but it is pretty manageable. And with this conversion kit, this is how this conversion kit changes this weapon. So, normally when you shoot a pistol, you press the trigger, it fires. But the conversion kit, it not only fires when you enter when you pull down the trigger but when you release it so if you are tapping you're shooting twice per per pull so with that you can turn this thing into an smg by just tapping pretty quickly now as you can see without doing it this gun has a lot of kick right but it is all vertical so you can take enemies out pretty easily even from a long range you could easily use this weapon as a primary and do just fine. This gun is good in multiplayer and in Warzone. Has been tested in Warzone and it is a very good secondary to use if you are getting tired of using the SMGs. So let's hop into a game. Let's go ahead and test out this Vaznev and see what it's all about in Monofair 3. All right, so we're on Meat 24-7. First time playing Meat. Uh, haven't played m meat yet. What a fun, what a fun name for a map. I saw a bunch of memes on Twitter about this map name, and uh, it, they, they they all made me laugh. Grinding meat with the boys, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. So we're rocking the Vaznev in 2024 on Modern Warfare 3, playing hardpoint. Let's see how this gun does. So far, I'm killing pretty quick. That guy might have been weak. Yeah, that guy was. That first, the second guy was definitely weak. I killed him in like one bullet. Uh oh, uh oh, hold down the hard point. Hold it down. Ah, oh, they got me. to get warmed up. I haven't played in so long. Oh, I almost got them both. Quick scope me. Psycho.
Wait, this guy's crazy. Oh my god, he's nuts. Wait, we can't get... Oh my god, I won't let me... Uh. Okay. Hard point's ours. Let me slide. Okay. Uh oh. Map's layout is very weird. Oh, I got stunned. Oh, it's a guy. Oh my god. Laying down back there. Huh? Oh, he's right behind me. No. I didn't realize. bad right there okay I'm scared to peek this because of this long range interaction what is going on you guys got the core 45 on as you can see very good weapon not good enough though this guy's better I forgot to shoot, it looks like. <laughs> Wait, what? Where is this guy? There he is. This guy's going for going for trick shots on these on these poor guys. My poor teammates. I won't let them. That's right, it's my hard point now, boys. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? I forgot I had a stem. Uh oh. Oh no. The worst timing ever for the stem. For that poor guy. Well, that didn't bounce the way I wanted it to. No, oh, I got sniped. The whole team's there. I gotta win this game. I vow to win this game for my team. Let me slide. I think it feels so weird right now. The pistol's crazy. No. Oh, that guy scared the shit out of me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Uh oh, my ammo. That guy's not paying attention. Uh oh. Oh my god, reload the gun. No. <sighs> hey, can I get in the window? Oh my god, I can. They don't know. They don't know about the window strat. Reload the gun. Oh, it reloads so slow. That's where the uh, that's where the smaller mag will come in handy, for sure. I need my team to help me out a little bit here. Just a little bit. Not gonna get it. Not gonna get the help. I keep getting stunned. Can't shoot through the pigs. No, he can shoot through the pigs though. He was the craziest sniper I've ever seen in my life. Kobe. With a big shot. He didn't die. Okay. 
Get out of here. Ow. Oh, he got me in the corner. Oh, no. I can't do anything. I don't hate this map. This map's pretty decent. I miss uh, I miss rust rust and shipment, but for a new map, we'll take it. Load before they come around the corner. And chuck that over there. Give me just dogged on him. I can only do so much. God, this brother brothers on a lake is destroying. What's that guy using? The cat? I'm getting quick scoped. the mosquito drone from Shotzi Jr. Shotzi wouldn't use a mosquito drone. That's why he's a junior. He's using ride shield on his back too. Flame. All right, let's go. We got we got teammates on the hard point. We got teammates on the hard point. They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff out here. No, I'm out of ammo. Oh my god. Reload. No, I'm dead. Shotzi Jr. Oh, my team's doing absolutely nothing. They might as well not even be here. Those are all my teammates, though. Holy shit, there's the whole team. Oh, there's three people there. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Looks like we're not winning this game. It's not looking good. We're running a miracle. They are just all over this hard point, man. Okay, got them off. There they go. They're all going to turn around and look at me. Reload. All right. All right. No. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Please, I'm begging. Oh, I suck. I actually picked up a sidewinder. What is going on? Ah! Got the advanced. ammo there's no way I'm holding this down with a sidewinder give me this oh my god please he doesn't see me haha <laughs> beaten with your own gun I don't want the stalker no they hopped on while I was getting a gun. Oh, I can only do so much. I can only do so much. <sighs> oh, he hopped to the window. What a god. Damn. Well, there is the Vaznev in Modern Warfare 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the loadouts. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which one you're rocking. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. See you guys next time.